Astronomers just found a massive galaxy beyond our universe. Nobody knows why a distant galaxy sprouted filaments hundreds of thousands of light years long. The universe is a bewilderingly vast and perplexing place. Millennia of scientific progress have incrementally increased our understanding of it, but scientists occasionally spot something shrouded in almost inexplicable mystery. A new puzzle has emerged in the form of filaments of electromagnetic radiation hundreds of thousands of light years long, the likes of which have never been seen before. What is this? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at a new discovered massive galaxy beyond our universe. Make sure to stick till the end of this video, as we have a lot to cover. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. In the premiere episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Encounter at Farpoint, the Enterprise must solve a mystery on a distant planet, which turns out to be that the planet's inhabitants have been holding a massive, space-faring, jellyfish-like creature captive. After Picard and crew save it, the creature flies into space, meets its buddy in orbit, and they entwine long tentacles as they presumably joyfully reunite. This episode debuted in 1987, so why bring it up now? Captain Picard should have checked the historical records after all. If he had discovered old ESO 137006 observations from the 21st century, the mystery would have been solved much sooner. However, another mystery would have taken its place. ESO 137006 is classified as an active galaxy. It has a supermassive black hole at its core, with a massive swirling disk of matter orbiting it far beyond the event horizon, or the point of no return. Because of friction, this accretion disk is extremely hot and glows so brightly that it outshines the entire galaxy. But that's not all it can do. For reasons unknown, twin beams of matter are shooting up and down from the disk, focused by the disk's intense magnetic fields, or possibly by the black hole itself. These are known as jets by astronomers, and everything about them is terrifying. For one thing, the material contained within them is violently accelerated to nearly the speed of light. For another, these jets are so powerful that they blast right up and out of the galaxy, spanning millions of light years and being a dozen times the size of the galaxy itself. Interesting, mysterious, and terrifying, isn't it? Well, let's find out more. The South African Meerkat Radio Telescope, which was launched in 2018, is a precursor to the Square Kilometer Array, or SKA, that aims to address fundamental astrophysical concerns regarding the nature of objects in the universe. Astronomers in South Africa were using the Meerkat Radio Telescope to look at a bright galaxy near the center of Norma, a merging galaxy cluster 230 million light years from Earth. This galaxy, known as ESO 137006, shines extremely brightly in radio waves because its supermassive black hole emits twin jets of plasma that extend far beyond the galaxy's rim. The charged particles in these jets spin around magnetic fields and emit radio waves as they travel at close to the speed of light. On cosmic scales, such activity is spectacular, but not out of the ordinary. Meerkat's keen radio vision, on the other hand, revealed an unexpected feature. Titanic threads of radio emissions emerging from the maelstrom. These nearly parallel strands appear to connect the swirling lobes at the end of the galaxy's two plasma jets. Each thread is massive, with the longest stretching for 261,000 light years. Similar threads have been observed elsewhere, including the center of our own galaxy. However, the Milky Way's own threads, which are still being studied, are many thousands of times smaller than the massive ones emerging from ESO 137006, according to Min Hyun, an astronomer at the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research who was not involved in this research. Heino Falke, a radio astronomer at Radboud University in the Netherlands, who was not involved in the study, has spent his entire scientific career studying black hole jets. But these filaments had him perplexed. This is very strange, he says, comparing the spider-like tendrils to spider legs. It's difficult to imagine how this could be created. 
Impati Ramasoku, the lead author of the new study and a radio astronomer at Rhodes University in South Africa, was initially interested in studying a calmer galaxy near ESO 137006. However, Meerkat was initially trained on the latter. The idea was that if ESO 137006's staggering radio luminosity could be used to teach the telescope software to filter out its fireworks, less ostentatious astronomical objects in the periphery could be better seen. When you're looking at something small and weak and delicate, the big booming source always gets in the way, says study co-author Oleg Smirnov, head of the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory's Radio Astronomy Research Group. The cryptic filaments bridging two jets became visible as Meerkat explored the spectacular radio galaxy. We spent a lot of time doubting these structures, Ramasuku says. They were initially thought to be an artifact of image processing. But meticulous data analysis has ruled out that possibility. I'd eat my hat if it was an artifact, Smirnov stated. The team also began to wonder if the threads were gigantic structures in the foreground of the image that had nothing to do with the galaxy. However, they appeared to mirror the shapes of the jets and their billowing lobes. If they're in front, it's one hell of a coincidence, Smirnov adds. If the threads emerged as a result of ESO 137006's antics, they did not appear as if by magic. According to Yvette Sendez, a radio astronomer at the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard University and the Smithsonian Institution who was not involved in the study, a general rule in radio astronomy is that the size of a structure is proportional to how long it took to build. These filaments span hundreds of thousands of light years, applying a time-consuming manufacturing process. The thread's energy signature also hints at their composition. Like the jets, their radio emissions are most likely caused by electrons spiraling in a magnetic field. The ingredients are known, Smirnov says. However, the astronomical alchemy that created these filaments in the first place remains a mystery for the time being. The journey of ESO 137006 through the darkness may provide an answer. It is falling at an almost unfathomable rate toward the center of the Norma Galaxy Cluster. The space between galaxies is a dense soup of ionized hydrogen, helium, and other heavier elements. Meerkat is already looking for similarly massive filaments in other radio galaxies. It's possible that these threads are exclusive to ESO 137006. They could also be hiding in galaxies all over the universe. Both outcomes would be shocking, according to Smirnov. However, until we know either way, astronomers will most likely remain in the dark. There's definitely a lot of extra physics to learn, says Sendez. And that ends our video for today. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and make sure you share it with all your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this one. And we'll see you next time.